mate. Thanks for coming in. No uh, what, what did you think of the session? It was a ball terror. It was tough. Oh, I think every session is tough. You know, it really comes down to your commitment, and um, I guess, like anything, just respecting what it is that you're doing and, and giving your best. And uh, I feel that I did that today, so uh, yeah, we got a lot out of it. We had a great bunch of boys there today. Yeah, yeah, they're a great bunch of boys. You know, enthusiastic, you know, willing to uh, you know give their all, and um, it's great to be a part of that, especially if you're feeling a bit down. Yeah. And um, you know. None of us are all right, always on top of our game, so uh, it, it's great to you get in there. And there's always someone who's tigger, yeah. you know, bouncing around, yeah, you know, yeah, full yeah. of energy, and um, yeah. you know, you, you feed off of that. Yeah. I agree. Uh, you seem like a deep thinker and someone that does huh. everything with a great deal of purpose. Is that a fair assessment? Um, yes, I've uh, over time, it's um, it's dawned on me that I've, I'm a very curious person and. You know, on a superficial level, it's one thing to have an understanding, but I really like to peel back the layers and get down to the nitty gritty because that that hand in hand um, feeds that purpose and feeds that why. So when things do become difficult, you're more likely to uh, stick with it. Uh, what's the one piece of advice given to you that has stuck? So over the years, one piece of advice that you'll never forget, something that's stuck in your head. No, there are no excuses. Honest, honest to God, like, you know, we, we all come up with excuses and we, we conjure these illusions in our head to, to kind of sidestep things. But at the end of the day, ultimately, we are responsible for ourselves and our actions. And, um, you know, when you can take on that burden and, and rather than pushing it outward into the world, look within, uh, you can achieve amazing things. Well said. Uh, most people know you as Commando of The Biggest Loser, but yeah. you've got a 13-week online health and fitness journey coming up. Can you tell me a bit about that? Uh, well, essentially Get Commando Fit is um, is that. It's it's a 13-week um, journey, so the initial week is a fundamentals week. So you know, for those that aren't too cluey with you know, particular movements, we kind of step through that. The same with the nutrition, and then it's a 12-week program. Um, there's you know, kind of there for the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced, and um, you know, it's very community orientated, like a lot of gyms and what have anyway. And you know, for myself, I can't be in all places at any one time, so it made sense to have a uh, an online offering. So, how do people get involved? So, to get involved with Get Commando Fit, you, you just get online, getcommandofit.com.au, and uh, you can register. We run a mission each month, so there's a uh, there's 12 missions running a year, and they just they overlap. So, you know, lots of good fun. Um, you know, fantastic, nutritious, um, tasty food, and um, lots of hard training. Love that. Uh, so, you're, you're obviously a very busy man. What are you doing in your spare time? Honestly, I like to be as human as possible and spend as much time as I can with my kids. You know, get outdoors, get on the paddle boards, get on the mountain bikes, go camping. Uh, it, 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 for me, it's um, it helps me to uh, to connect, keep me grounded. Um, you know, in the world of chaos, you know, where it's like we're all clambering over one another to to, to get up the rung on the ladder. Um, when you can remove yourself from that, you, uh, you become a lot more creative, and you connect with what is most important um, in life for you. You know, the only truth is your truth, and. Uh, you know, way to figure out whether something's true or not is living. And uh, you don't know until you're in and amongst the experience. Yeah. Mate, tell me about someone that you admire or look up to. You got someone, one person over the years that you, you still admire and look up yeah, to. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah? Yeah, he was a bit of a saving grace for me when I was uh, when I was younger, coming into my teens, you know, watching that guy on television uh, in the uh, in the late 70s, early 80s, you know, with the bodybuilding and you know everything else that um, that he was doing, and he's still doing great things today. I still watch uh, Pumping Iron. <laughs> Actually, I've always I've we seen need to get bits. It out and yeah, watch yeah, it. yeah. We should have just a, a big, <laughs> yeah. a big uh, like Arnie Day. Arnie, Arnie uh, or, yeah, Sylvester Stallone. You know, yeah. all that just a testosterone, yeah. freaking Rambo. <laughs> uh, what was the last thing you ate today? Today, what did you eat before you drank? You know today? what I ate was. Um, my son, I, I made him this French toast. So, some egg, a bit, a little bit of milk, and mashed up some banana, and yeah. then soaked, you know, a few bits of bread in that, put it in the uh, uh, 
uh, what do you call it, the, the frying pan. Yeah. And then he freaked kept throwing it on the ground at the dog. Yeah, so you were just So I ate it, I ate the rest. Sounds like me. And then I thought, screw you little man, I'm gonna make, so I made him up this, this kind of smoothie thing with some uh, strawberries, blueberries, some dates, banana and the like, a bit of almond meal. And he's like, mm, mm, this is tasty. He's like, so that's pretty much all I've eaten today, which isn't a whole lot. Big feed after this. Yeah. What is your one favorite food? Last question. My favorite food? Yeah, hot chips. Hot chips? Yeah. Thanks for spending a minute with Matt. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming.